Yeah, festivals for everyone. I mean, it seems like every community is having, um, you know, something this weekend. Yeah, there is a lot going on. Yeah. And if you are going out this weekend, you're going to have to make sure that you keep your eye to the sky. I, I always say the, the KDK weather app is great because it tells you if there's yep. heavy rain nearby or mm -hmm. lightning nearby. So real cool tool to have on your mobile device. But uh, overall, is it going to be a completely dry weekend? No, and we're going to help you plan around that. Starting with this evening, you can see we have some clouds and uh, some planes flying by with banners. They know there's a lot going on, so some advertising happening up there, but a nice mix of uh, sun and clouds right now, but those clouds are going to continue to fill in here. We have 80 degrees at this point. Westerly winds at 5 to 10. The humidity is still very, very low at 32 percent. And look at some of these temperatures. We have 83 in Catanon. Greensburg's at 82, as well as Indiana and Irwin and Washington and Morgantown. 80 in Uniontown and Pittsburgh here. 81 in Cranberry, while Newcastle is at 77, 70 in Butler. Here is a look at the conditions for the next few hours. These temperatures are going to start to fade off a little more so into the coming hours and by 11 p.m. 74 degrees and this is a picture of Rosie who is walked by Vince. So uh, Rosie looks like a very, very happy pup there. Now when it comes to this next system coming in, we're going to see this rain pushing towards us. But remember, this is going to be encountering that dry air. So I think a lot of the rain is going to evaporate as it gets closer to us because uh, moisture and dry air don't always get along. You need to get that air juicy enough to support the rain or the, the thunderstorms. And typically with lighter type precipitation, you need this relative humidity more at 60% or greater to pull off some rain here at the surface. So I think the rain's going to have a little bit of a struggle once it gets here, but there's still going to be enough to provide possibly some light sprinkles in the morning, tomorrow during the afternoon, maybe a little passing shower trying to develop there as well. But I do not think Saturday is going to be a washout. Sunday, we're going to see a chance for some thunderstorms developing again. These push in here and you can see they're going to be kind of just peppered around the region over the course of the day. So another situation where we're not looking for a washout, but Sunday could come with some lightning. So this is where the KDK weather app is, is a great tool to have because, of course, you don't want to be outside or on the water or on a golf course. If there's a lightning nearby, you, you get that alert on your phone. You go in for the few minutes that you need to you come back out and enjoy the rest of your day. Monday, another shot for this rain and thunderstorm activity to be scattered around. So another one of those situations as well. Now, when it comes to tonight, 65 degrees is our low, mostly cloudy skies. So we're already starting to see those clouds filling in here, light and variable winds and towards daybreak, some sprinkles. And we're just going to see that spotty activity tomorrow with our temperatures trying to return to the mid 80s for high temperatures. So it's going to be one of those days where we're going to have, I think, a lot more cloud cover up front and a few sprinkles. but during the later parts of the day, we'll get some peaks of sunshine. So not a bad start to the weekend, just not the abundant sunshine we had today or the sunshine we had yesterday. Next seven, these temperatures go from the mid to upper 80s to about 79 degrees on Monday. And this is because of that unsettled setup we have with those scattered storms. Temperatures do start to take off. And when we get these pop ups on Tuesday and Wednesday becoming possible, that's strictly the heat and the humidity working together, giving you that summertime pop up thunderstorm chance. So certainly not a washout Tuesday or Wednesday. And the heat continues on Thursday and Friday with those temperatures in the upper 80s.